this is the code walkthrough for signature matching so these are the requirements the main requirement here is scikit images the scikit image is used for the structural similarity function that we call that does our main function that does our main task for determining the signatures are equal or not so let's start through the front end and understand each and every function so let's first understand all the front end stuff this is a tkinter or kinter whatever you call it so here let's start from the main function root is equals to we have initialized the tkinter window and for it to not auto close we have used this root dot main loop so we will give this uh, this window is named as root because we have initialized and created an object here so we have given a title of signature matching we have given the dimensions then we come to the tag here to compare two images so it was given by the label tag text and font we have set and the first parameter is the window that we set we also use the placements that this is a what we call it a static or something like that uh, yeah this is what we call a static positioning we can also do the dynamic positioning by using some functions but uh, dynamic positioning does not look good then we have another label signature one this and this is the text field this text field is called as an entry entry widget using an entry widget and we can auto populate it also we can insert a uh, the path manually through the file system these are all the placement and other stuff now we are using button so this button uses the image capture so this capture image would take a live image whenever we capture it so if we are using through a laptop or a computer the automatically selected is the default camera will go through this function and explain it yeah so this is your capture image we have used an uh, entry widget that is the entry widget this so that it can auto populate the address or the path to the image that it captures right now so how will we capture it so if we select like uh, for sign 1 and sign 2 sign 1 and sign 2 what it means what it means is whether we are capturing it for the text field 1 signature 1 or signature 2 so we have used your default uh, i'll pass it as one and if i'm going at going to capture it to the second signature i'll putting it as sign two here now when we did the capture image whenever we go to the capture image thing what we do is first of all we get the current working os dot cwd is os dot get current working directory will get the string of where the main file is located main.py because it is being executed through main so this uh, default path would be uh, we would be getting then we would be creating a new path this is a new folder named tempt and we will be storing it with the name test underscore image one dot png whenever we capture this is just the file name that uh, this is just the string that we are constructing right now and we will directly pass it okay and then we will put the result like a click picture so now when we get the message box that is the tkinter message box and we ask the question that is we tell the uh, user that if he clicks the space bar then the image would be captured and to save it escape to escape the image character after this when the user presses yes that he is sure that it wants to click the picture then capture image from cam would be uh, the function would be invoked so what we are passing it here is the sign variable the sign variable is for which text field we are working here or here so that he can populate it accordingly so here what it does is it, this uses at backend the uh, open cv library to capture the image cv2.video capture this uh, does what it does is for zero is the default camera of the system and capture dot d show means it uh, produces a live image like a live video is being recorded and only one frame of the video should be captured so that uh, the 
image does not get captured as soon as the uh, user hits OK. So here we may open and uh, open a new window named named window, and it continuously keeps on reflecting the output from the camera to the window, so that live image is uh, live. Uh, you can it is similar to a mobile image. So whenever we capture it, so this is an infinite loop that we are going through. We will break it only when we are sure that we have captured an image or the user has clicked on the exit button. So like a uh, return and frame, these are the two variables that we get from the camera. So if re not return means if uh, we get false, this position can only occur fail to grab frame when the default camera is not working or you have not set the default camera. There is some problem with the hardware, this would occur. So this is just a fact checking or something like that. And then uh, the named window would be shown as the test name that we have seen here. Then for wait key means we are infinitely waiting for a key press of 27. 27 stands for the escape key. So whenever we hit on escape, we should break. Only then we should break. Otherwise, 32 stands for the space key. So whenever we hit the space, that moment, that is that particular frame should be captured and stored as an image. So how do we do that? First we check the directory is made or not. Like we, have, we gave the path here as slash tempt which is not here. So it, it needs to create a new directory. So mkdir tempt. But the second variable that we need to pass is 0077. If you know something of the terminal or Linux commands, 777 is granting all permissions to the current user. So if you are not signed in an, uh, as admin, this line would give you error if you don't put mode as 0077. Then there is sign equals to 1 so that we need to populate it here or if the sign is equals to 1 and this image is by default uh, uh, this path and the second image would be this path. And then what we do is this, are, this is just our uh, debugging thing. And then we do cam.release because we have captured your cam. So we need to release this resources. Otherwise the cam would go on in an infinite loop. And then we destroy all windows of only the open CV and we return true that we have captured an image. So when we went back from here capturing the image, we, what we do is we first clear this text field because the user might want to change sometimes by doing browse. When the user might want to change, like see, I have uh, captured it here. So here it came. But now I want to select this image. So when I click on this, ent.delete would clear this entire text field and again insert a new field uh, that is the new selected image. So that uh, it won't just override and give us the wrong result when we hit on compare. Same thing procedure goes with here. Then what we do is we click on the check similarity. What we This happens only when we click on <clears throat> compare button but before this we will see a browse option so what is browse option for browse option we do the browse function and the entry that is the entry parameter here these needs to be filled out with the help of browse button when we click here the selection window opens so for the selection window opens we will go to the browse button we have here the tkinter function again ask open file name so what is what this happens is it helps us to select this browse button and select all types of files in it. If we don't put anything here, it would by default select all file types. But what we are doing here is only these types of files should be selected JPEG, JPG and PNG and all the image format should be all the file types should be image, image and image only. Only then we can compare it. So now we are coming here to the browse button. Now after that we have selected we have selected two images, two different images. Now when we hit compare what ha what should happen when we hit compare? It should do the check similarity thing. Check similarity is the function that we will call that comes from the signature. That uh, comes from the signature.py file. So what it does at the back end is we pass the window because whenever we want to uh, when we pass the window equals to root we want to display some um, image on this or we want to display some kind of message on this. So we need to pass on this window and there's the path one and the path two entry that is entry dot get. This is by default uh, some kind of object but when we do it dot get 
the string inside it would be passed with the help of it. and these are the two parts that we need to compare the two parts to the image so when we hit check similarity it goes to this window we get it we are not using window here because we won't be destroying the window here but we get the path one part two and then uh, when we check the result so now we match the results what matching does is first of all read the image as cv2 using the opencv library we just read both the images so we know that opencv by default reads the image in brg and not rgb form it is always brg form so what we do is there might be some noises in the image so that to eliminate those noises first we uh, turn uh, the images to grayscale so after turning it to the grayscale the uh, the differences due to colors will get eliminated and only the image would be there in the form of 1010 that we known as binary but it would be not be proper binary for binaryfication there is another function in win opencv which we are not using here then after converting the gray images to grayscale now we need to uh, the other similarity uh, matrix uh, as we know that the similarity checking at the back end uses some kind of matrix comparison so while comparison of the matrix if the matrix size is different then we would get a totally different answer which we are not expecting so for that we as resize the image to 300 by 300 pixels only so once we have done that uh, we have normalized this image this process is basically normalizing the image for comparison now what we do is we for for the final time we show the user that these are the normalized images that we are going to compare so that user also has a sense of uh, a sense of thing that uh, these two images are the correct images that are being compared like for example see here this one and this two so user knows that these two images are being compared so as soon as the user closes one window and another window cv2.waitkey0 gets uh, triggered and when we see it dot wait key gets triggered this uh, uh, both the windows are destroyed that i destroyed using the cross signature and when they are destroyed similarity value is assigned they are using compared using ssim that is the inbuilt function of structural similarity which does at the back end some kind of matrix similarity checking it is in the scikit uh, scikit images library so after that we are multiplying it and bringing to 100 percent form by two two decimal uh, accuracy and then the float value is being passed to the front end here when we get the check similarity thing the float value is been passed to the result and if the result is less than equals to threshold the result uh, the signatures do not match because we see that uh, the result is 80.85 uh, percent similar so if the signatures are 80.85% similar we do not consider them as uh, similar images why because this this is just a value that i uh, derived through tri trial and error but you can change the threshold i have mentioned the threshold here which is 85% this is th this threshold is based on comparison of handwritten images that is i signed on a piece of paper and clicked the image and then again i did signature did my signature on this paint tool and i compared it so i i learned that 85 percent works best for me but you can change it according to your own thing like for your we can select again browse we can select image 3 and image 3 again and we can compare now these two images are being compared the matrices should be exactly similar but due to noise they might not get total 100 percent accuracy because this is the drawback of this uh, SSIM function that it checks only the matrices if the image is even slightly rotated to even by one or two degrees this might not be worthy enough so for this you can use some deep learning uh, some deep learning library so here we are getting 100% similar because the images were uh, as it is the same images were used yeah so that's pretty much it if you have some doubts, you can ping me always. Yeah, thank you.